Without fail, credit scoring myths and old wives' tales gets more reaction than any other essay I've written. I've already given you seven, and I'd like to give you another seven. There seems to be no end to these, so let's examine seven more credit repair and scoring myths and misconceptions. It's time to examine seven more credit scoring myths and misconceptions. Uh, one of the nice things about getting in further and further into this very interesting subject of credit score enhancement is that it gets more and more interesting as you go along. Many of these myths persist because they sound credible. They, they seem like they must be true, but they simply do not stand up to scrutiny. So let's examine seven more of them. Number one, credit reporting agencies are run by the government. They are not run by the government. Credit reporting agencies are private businesses. They are supervised by the government. More specifically, they are supervised by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Now, the government's uh, arm of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is your last line of appeal. If you make a uh, complaint to the bureaus about something you feel is inaccurate or can't be proved, and you lose your case, you can now appeal directly to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. We'll get into that more when we get into the more and more uh, seriously uh, complicated areas as we move along. Number two, if your age counts. Well, this requires a, a little bit of an explanation, but there is there is no factor that is used by the computer's uh, algorithms that factors in your age uh, as a favor, favorable or unfavorable uh, matter for your score. Of course, if, if you're older, the chances are the age of your credit lines of credit is going to be longer. So in this respect, your age counts because it is... Uh, a uh, positive influence to be had for credit as, every, as the years go by and uh, the average age of your accounts is one of the five factors as we discussed earlier. But your chronological age does not count like, either for or against your score. Three, your employment history counts. There's another one that is counterintuitive. You would think that someone with a long and solid employment history uh, would have that reflected in their credit score. I mean, if you yourself were going to loan money to someone, wouldn't that be one of the first questions you would ask? Well, your credit score people don't see it that way. Of course, your employment history will count to a bank if you're applying for a mortgage, but that is a separate matter from your credit score. As far as the credit score number is concerned, your employment history is not figured in at all. Number four, using a credit, uh, credit counseling service is a negative. It is not. It is not held against you. If you feel you need counseling, by all means, go get it. Don't think that by doing so that you're mocking yourself with a negative on your credit score because it is not included at all in the calculations of what your score may be. Uh, five, it is a particularly persistent one that you need to carry a balance on your credit cards. You don't need to carry a balance on your credit cards. The lower your balance is, the better your debt to available credit ratio will be. And so the balance does not do anything to help your score. As a matter of fact, it does everything to hurt your score. Now, you may need to use the credit card sometimes, or else the bank may cancel it for lack of use. But that's another thing. That has nothing to do with your score. So if you have a card that's basically idle, you might want to buy a tank of gas or pizza or something once in a while and then pay it right on time, but there is no need for you to carry a balance to help your score because it does not matter. It doesn't matter as far as unless it's big and then it hurts, not helps. Uh, number six, a statement of explanation helps. You are uh, allowed to make a statement of up to a hundred words on your credit reports to explain a negative matter that you may feel is being unfairly reported. But it almost always does more harm than good. Nobody really looks at it, and sometimes it's kind of hard to get it taken off after the problem disappears and it indicates that you once had a problem. Uh, so in, in my uh, opinion, I have never seen a, a statement of explanation help, but I have seen it for, And it can slow down the mortgage application process as well. So 
I would think long and hard before putting a statement of explanation on it. Well, seven, denial of credit hurts my score. The denial of credit doesn't hurt your score. The fact that you applied for the credit gives a small ding for approximately a year, uh, and that hurts your score by usually an average of about five points for that year's time. But whether you're, you get the credit or you're denied the credit, does that matter? It's the application that matters, the fact that, the, that your score was checked out that matters, not whether you got the credit or didn't get the credit. We'll have some more urban myths and legends very soon.